our co-main event live here from Anaheim, California at the Honda Center. Alexis Rocha from nearby Santa Ana, 17 and one, 11 knockouts, squaring off against Giovannis Barraza out of Barranquilla, Colombia, 23 and one with 15 KOs, Rocha taller and longer. Listo, you ready? One thing to remember, Alexis Rocha, of course, fought Rashidi Ellis, but it was just two weeks ago that Barraza was in the ring. He fought and won an eight-rounder in Massachusetts two weeks ago. That was around 154 pounds, this fight down at 147. He fought two weeks ago against another southpaw, so yeah, that, that, actually, that actually makes me feel more confident about the weak resume, because when I look at his resume, that's a red flag. And the fact that his only loss was to a fighter making a pro debut, that's a huge red flag. All right, but the fighter making his pro debut was Gabriel Maestro, who is one of the most decorated amateurs in Venezuelan boxing history, who was fighting for a secondary world title in just his fourth pro fight. So that's not just any amateur. He, for, for his pro debut, he lost him. Good fight. There's a right hand for Barraza. Gets Rocha off balance a little bit. 15 KOs into 23 wins for Barraza. He's got some pop. But Rocha vowed not to overlook this opponent. Is taking him very seriously. Wants to make a statement here on this big fight card in Southern California. Yeah, Barraza fights real, real calm too. You know, he uh, he picks his hands up, picks the shots apart, and he likes to pick opponents apart with nice straight shots. <laughs> nice body shot oh yeah, that one caught him good. And now he's working downstairs as this crowd starts to heat up a little bit. And this is what I saw when I saw tapes of Barraza. He keeps his elbows out like that, and he puts that, that defense, that earmuff defense up there. It's going to give Rocha, who's an excellent body puncher, a chance to dig down in that rib cage. But you can see that Rocha's totally comfortable in there. Unleashing power shots from every single angle. I mean, it's left, right, left, right, upstairs and downstairs. Barraza fighting back with an uppercut of his own. 40 of the 71 punches landed for Rocha through the first three rounds were to the body. And if he, if he get those hands to come down, Sergio, we know what happens next. And Rocha's really mindful on defense, so that's why I've been watching. So not only is he letting go of his shots, but he's mindful of what's coming back, too. Yeah, I'm really impressed Quick, with what I've seen out of Rocha so far, and it kind of explains why so many veteran fighters were not willing to get in the ring with him. They tried to get Maurice Hooker to take this fight. They tried to get Blair Cobb to take this fight. Had no luck. Had to turn to Barraza to get an opponent for this day. Yeah, he's a strong puncher, but he's a patient strong puncher. So add that with the maturity and what he's learning. You know, he's a dangerous fighter in there. Another uppercut. That one snaps the head back at Barraza again. And right there, he tried to double it up with that left hook. Deep breath for the Colombian, who's showing a little more energy this round, at least in fighting back. is Barraza in his corner going to allow him to take as he eats a left hand right at the bell. And this is where Barraza does not want to be. But he, right when the referee gets close, Barraza throws a combination. So he wants to stay in this fight, even though he's lost basically every round. And 
Sergio, if you were in Barraza's corner, do you say, hey, look, he's waited a lifetime to be on a stage like this, you let him go out, or do you say, hey, man, I just don't want to see him uh, get let him, You let him go out. Uh, Barraza, he waited for his big moment. You can see that, you know, he's not trying to win, but he is fighting back. He wants, you know, he wants that moral victory right there. So if he can last the 10 rounds, you know, he didn't win one round in my book. It's a shutout, but still, only 10 rounds with a young, strong fighter like Alexis Rocha, you can take that back home with you in Byron P and be proud. The knees locked back when he takes the backward step. It's like Rocha doesn't want to step to the extra gear. He's having so much fun pot shotting and the combination here. He eases back anytime he has. Peraza hurt. Under a minute to go here in round eight. There's a left hand that sends it back against the ropes. How much more will the referee let him take? This fight needs to be stopped. Well, he's throwing back. Look, Rocha is not even breathing hard. This is a beatdown. This is a one-sided beatdown, but to Barraza, he's tough, but I don't see this fight going much longer. Well, he made it to the end of the round. Well done, Barraza. Corner of Barraza are not doing him any favors letting him come out for this ninth round. He has virtually no chance to win. And at this point, a very good chance of taking one punch that really hurts him. You agree, Sergio? I see what he's, I see what he's saying, but this is the hurt game, and and you know, Barraza's is doing enough to to stay in the fight. He's getting hit with something big, but then he comes back with something like that. So he's doing enough, just barely, to stay in in this fight somewhat. Rocha picks up victory number 18. Punches came from everyone. Barraza was taking all those shots. There's times where he's getting hit and he's looking at the referee. The center, our referee, Ray Corona, steps in and puts a halt to this contest. The official time comes to you. 33 seconds, round number nine. Declaring your winner by KO victory, the fighting pride of Santa Ana, California, Alexis. Oh.